Yo guys, Jensk here, and today I want to, to talk about uh, retail uh, players versus private server players because TVC Classic is coming and I was watching this stream where people were um, from a private server I'm not gonna name names or anything in this because I kinda respect private uh, server players but uh, I kinda respect more uh, the retail uh, good players and because there's there's something about adapting to a, a new meta every like three four six months and um, having to adapt fast to that meta because you have tournaments and all of that but uh, i saw in the chat uh, on the twitch chat that a lot of players were saying that for example was and right when was is not gonna play tvc classic he said it, it wouldn't at least at the start but uh, I'm gonna talk about Raikou, and they were saying that Raikou, for example, and Waz wouldn't uh, be that good in um, a TVC Classic, and I think that's actually crazy to say first, because even though Waz didn't play the game back then, it's all about mechanically, and he's really good mechanically, right? He just has the, the whole mechanics. And let's be honest, TBC doesn't require you to track as many cooldowns or to track as many things. It, it, require, it requires you to track a lot of stuff, uh, but it's and a lot of important stuff. But uh, it's just different. It's a different way to track stuff, right? The games are just different. In live, you need to track cooldowns, especially offensive cooldowns, and be really fast. In classic, you need to to track more of um, like stuff like gouge, like uh, kidneys, evasion, and you still track that on live. So it's kind of like okay. But I wanted to start a discussion because I have a very uh, an opinion that is very solid for me, and I want to know your opinion on the comments. By the way, so just comment what you think. It's it's gonna happen but um i, I think it's kind of crazy especially raiko people saying that raiko wouldn't be as insane when raiko i remember facing raiko over and over and over again in wrath of the leech king when he played with hydra and calamist i'm pretty sure um and um, they were playing rmp i was playing hunter lock through it and it was just insane it was really good um, back in uh, wrath of the leech king and i think people don't even know that Raikou started to play at least in Wrath of the Lich King, I'm not sure about TBC and that he was already one of the best mages back then he just didn't do any kind of tournament but before I give my opinion I want to say something really fast about live and I'm never gonna play it again uh, because uh, they are gonna add uh, 40 more renowned levels so I just wanted to <laughs> <laughs> to get that out of the way, I wanted to make a video talking about that part, but um, since I'm not a Chinese farmer, a uh, rice farmer, I'm not gonna play live anymore. And if TBC Classic doesn't fit for me, I'm just gonna quit WoW because <laughs> I'm not ever, ever, ever gonna farm 40 more renowned levels. Ever. Like, Blizzard is crazy. If they, they think players will farm this amount of renowned levels, well, most will, I guess, but uh, in terms of me, I won't. But but let ca let's get to the point. So retail versus versus private um, private server players. What do I think it's gonna happen? I think private server players are gonna get completely destroyed. So don't get me wrong. By the way, don't if. You have like a a favorite private server player don't get me wrong i think they will do extremely well but um if the um, tbc classic tournament scene it's actually appealing for the live uh, tournament players the live uh, the private server players are just gonna get destroyed it's just a matter of the live uh, players adapting and even then they're not gonna take as much time as people think they will to to adapt because they have to adapt or we whenever we play live 
have to adapt so fast at changes that um, the private server players don't even think of adapting. Some changes on live are so big that um, <laughs> that uh, it's crazy to think that all of the sudden live players won't adapt to TBC, which is a slower pace than uh, current uh, World of Warcraft in some ways. And yes, your globals count more, but uh, if they count more, you just adapt super fast. Now, I, I do think that some players won't be good in TBC, like especially a lot of rogue and mage players, <clears throat> because they are so used since, uh, I don't know, what, to just tank damage, just to go for ease, just to restealth, and that is not a possible... Um, possible in TBC because your mage loses mana, your priest loses mana, the rogue doesn't really have opportunity to restyle as many times because of stuff like fairy fire, dots, all of that. But um, in my opinion, private server players are, some of them are just bad even considering TBC, which is kind of funny because I was watching this, uh, I'm not gonna say names, but I, I was watching this stream and I was like, they are facing the, the best warlocks, for example, they are facing these warlocks and they are completely destroying these SLSL warlocks. Lock Druid, which is one of the best comps, and I played the comp and I'm, I'm, I'm watching it, I'm like, what's happening? And I was watching a warrior facing all of these warlocks and he was always getting uh, on top of them, which with the mount, which is really weird, because you have um, you have Amplify Curse into Curse of Exhaustion in TBC, and the warrior just can never reach you, like, unless he uses Intercept, and if he uses Intercept, then he won't reach you after. It's just a really weird uh, gameplay from these private servers. And this is what I want to talk about. Um, in my opinion, I think this because these guys have been playing against the same competition for 10 years. Like, yes, you might see one or two retail players maybe dab into um, private servers for a couple of uh, weeks or even months, but they won't stay long, right? And um, you don't really have um, the competition that uh, you would normally have, because you're always facing the same players, they always play the same, and there's a skill cap um, and the skill ceiling and these players reached most of these players or all of these private server tournament players if you want to call them that reach their um, their ceiling they won't improve like what they're doing right now on private server it's what they're gonna do on tbc classic and that's it they, they won't be better they they won't improve that much they will have to improve a bit if they want to compete against the best players but if all the the live players and and all the tournament uh, players that play on live go into tbc i think they are just gonna completely destroy these players and some of them actually play live and they are like two four um, or two three some of them are two three and it makes me think, okay, this is a different game, they will be better in this version of the game, but at the same time I'm thinking... Players today are really fast. Like, really fast. Uh, back in the day I was one of the fastest players, I even played StarCraft, like I said in my story um, videos. Um, but players today are really fast at uh, pressing buttons, everything is so much faster, and that will matter in TBC, especially in some classes like rogues. I think if live rogues, good live rogues, go into TBC, they will just completely destroy the TBC live rogues. Like, I think if a rogue like Waz goes into a TBC classic, and rogues are super good, it's just gonna destroy every single rogue he faces until he faces a good rogue, obviously. But every single private server rogue is gonna hate his life facing was, right? And that's my opinion. I think private server players will do well for like half of uh, half a season, like season one, and then they will start going down in terms of rating. 
But I don't think they care, actually. I really don't think they care. I think they just want to play TBC Classic and finally have some um, some good competition and and try to destroy these live players. That's what I would uh, want if I was in their place, right? And as a retail player, going back to uh, an era where I, I loved playing arenas, I, I can't wait to see like all of these private server warlocks and facing them and seeing who's who comes out on on top i think it's gonna be super fun to to play against all of these classic players and i hope that um, that everyone just has fun and that some storylines come back because when arena is super skilled storylines tend to to come back where people hate each other they are super toxic to each other and i think it that's kind of funny but uh, but yeah guys let me think what you guys think and uh, let me know what you guys think i mean and what do you guys think like uh, are private server players gonna be in a huge advantage because they have played the game for um, for 10 years or 12 years most uh, or 14 years whatever or do you guys think like me and think that these players reach their ceiling they're gonna be like really good for six months and then once the players know that, for example, rogue players know that they need to swap weapons for crippling, for a wound poison and for a mind numbling, especially for mind numbling. And that warlock players know that um, fell domination, it's really important to get. And if you get kicked in fell dom, you die. And uh, druids know that feral charges inter uh, actually interrupts casting and they adapt to it what do you guys think do you guys think that uh, private server players will still be better after like six months of um, of arena or do you think they are just gonna start to fall uh, fell off let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and peace dbc cl uh, classic is coming let's all fucking prepare <laughs> peace boys